newcomers that right. didn't really play brawl competitively, don't really understand. I mean, this, a lot of things have changed since Brawl, but yeah. just like the base concept of how grenades and C4s work is exactly. still remains the same. Absolutely, absolutely. But again, we're going to go into here. We're playing doubles, no snakes on screen. Wow. We've definitely got an Olimar, and this Olimar is already putting in work 54%, man. Look at that damage, and that's what this character can do, man. Putting those dots on you, getting that easy damage from the side to be, of course, the Pikmin toss, and then those early percent combos are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, doubles, pulls anime convention i wasn't expecting four meta characters yeah i'm not gonna lie yeah <laughs> but then again i mean those characters are definitely weed characters right so <laughs> yeah you keep right. it real they Thanks. are definitely anime you got yeah, the wife yeah. on deck and you got the man to see you in the future <laughs> oh yeah i mean but you know <laughs> <laughs> but that's myron yeah <laughs> yeah to him that's anime dude yeah, that, yeah. that's his husband though he, he, he loves himself some olimar man he <laughs> actually loves that character that's wild and I mean, Shulk, just another character that's so good in teams. You have things like Shield Monado that right. just really like emphasizes him tanking in teams. And then you also have like the Smash Monado swing out something wild. It's doubles. It's it's really hard for everyone to keep track of everything. So sometimes you're gonna get hit by that straight smash attack. True, absolutely. Man, but right now Myron's the one doing the stock tanking. All three stocks online for this man. Yeah, he doesn't look like he wants to lose a stock anytime today. And now he's got purple. Look at this lineup, too. we got the purple and the white on deck. And right now, Myron's still surviving. And, I mean, honestly, blue team not too far behind if they can seal out this stock against Myron. But Ed Oh, no. Ed, say that again. Uh, Wow. That was such and a... And here we have it with five stocks to two. <laughs> yeah, that was such a deep edge guard, man. Yeah, I did not expect Myron to go that deep. I thought after he threw the Pikmin toss, he was going to go back on the stage. But, nope. man, from the depths. Yeah, man. I mean, that's the power of Olimar. And it's cool, too, because you utilize those moves with the Pikmin toss and everything as well. You're going to have an easier time recovering back afterwards, right? Because you don't have as many Pikmin to weigh you down. So I love that option right there, Ramiron. Really, really smart play. What a strong team. I actually really like the team dynamic here because, of course, you have Shulk who's just going to stage clear all day every day oh my gosh uh that was your <laughs> that was your man yep, dude. yep. <laughs> speaking of clear <laughs> comboing off of the uh the overshoot on the up just a little bit there and myron going up and over avoiding this Palutena, the number two waifu yep oh but the smash not on the ledge trap but the get up attack oh dang no no wow. show required yeah okay Okay, here comes Shul. Oh, and there's the back area. Easy. Very powerful move. No smash. Minato required on that one. Three nope. stocks to none. Not at all. All right, so. The names are need to be switched. For oh, sure. Oh, from left. Like, yeah. Uh, however, you know, is the reason why I say that to you guys, uh, viewers at home, just in case, of course, I'm sure there's going to be some people uh, New Bloods watching the game, and they may yeah. not know. And my man on the left with the greatest of beards, he nodded his head after he lost. But he, that nod looked like, oh, yeah, yeah, I got him. Like, he looked okay. like he won. Like, he looks like he's Myron. Oh. <laughs> the way he, he was just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the way he nodded his head, he has such conviction. Right. See, like, that's that, that's a nod where it's like, okay, uh, we can win this one again. See, if I didn't know any better, I would think the guy on the left was Myron. <laughs> I'm keep, I'm keep it real. Yeah. All right, so no sense in changing the teams. Blue team looks like a very solid team. They just got to clean it up. They got to really uh, maybe pressure Myron a little bit more. I feel like you give you give Olimar that mid-range base to work with. Yeah. It can be a uh, terror. And Myron has just been doing a crazy amount of work on the offense as well. He's been sealing out stocks. He's been getting these edge guards. Absolutely. Got to keep that Olimar in check. And, of course, you get some Olimar classic stage. This is not what you want, man. It's, yeah. The stage is so good because, of course, you give this character a home. Yep. A nice little little condo, little beach side. Yep. Good time. Right by the ledge. Right by the ledge. You know, this is what you want. It's like, oh, you cornered me, but uh, can you hit me? Yeah, can you hit me? Of course you can. <laughs> Silly question. His, his, like, his astronaut antenna barely peeks over the ground. Dude. Yeah. It's <laughs> That's like a little bit above sea level there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 0 0.2 above sea level, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Jeez. my goodness. The board smash cleaning out both the blue team stocks. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really, really good stuff there. But, I mean, they they actually needed that to come back. Yeah. So, right now, I I don't know what it is. They might be really comfortable, but uh, SD by Myron? Not, I didn't see what happened on the left side, but he's at pretty low percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very impressed right now by these guys. They're 
been fairly solid, all things considering. You know, I'm sure that Myron's very seated very high. I'm sure his team's seated very high. So, right. you know, I don't expect these guys to uh, be the highest of seeds <laughs> they're going up against and see them play the way they are. They're oh, doing yeah. very, very well. I right now it. with a lead. Yeah. I, I like That's this. insane versus Myron and Ninja right now. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Ninja. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Uncivil. <laughs> All right. So we got the shield model oh, coming man. out. And when, when Shulk is behind and he's forced to use these yeah. defensive Monados, that's where it can get really, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, up and over with Myron using that purple Pikmin, getting the grab here, gonna get that offstage situation, and the Smash Monado gonna get hit away with the up B. Yeah, good stuff there. See, oh, the charge, the weight on that sidestep. That was extremely clean, man. Yeah. My goodness. And so I see. So it's like dashing back around. Yeah, three socks, three, but now two. Okay, wow. wow. Team oh, gone. There's Deleted. so much blood being shed right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But right now, Myron's the one bleeding the most. Yes. He's got to hold on to the stock like he did game number one. Ooh, try to get the two frame on the down air there. Oh, oh there it and is. And the chase. He can step back. Oh, no, yeah. You, you were definitely trying to hold on to that Monique a little too long. Yeah. And you lose your life because of it. All right. Oh. So let's see, man, because this is usually the problem here. When it comes down to 2v1, especially when players who are uh, the less initiated, they will have trouble, and they tend to hit each other all the time. Look at Sam Sora coming in with the cleanest of fits, man. <laughs> he always coming in. Sam Sa Sora. Sa Sam's always coming. All right, so right now, and like you said, time and time again, blue teams kind of smacking each other up right now. True. And Uncivil Ninja, take that. Yeah. Take that straight okay. to yeah. All day, man. Lawless. <laughs> My man does not care. Yeah, because usually you have one established, like, okay, you're going to set pressure, then I'm going to punish. It feels yeah. like blue team's coming in, like... Oh, they're coming in hot. Team pressure. Oh, absolutely. But that that is a swing. Okay, opportunity here. See, yeah, combos aren't down. Opportunity here. Backslash. Oh, no got punish. Him sandwich. Got him sandwich. Oh, <laughs> shy. Yeah, it's, it's just... Oh, wow. Did Uncivil Ninja position himself like that? So he's like, maybe they'll both swing into me. Yep. Oh, the delay. Oh, he's actually... <gasps> oh, no punish on the throw there. Okay, I mean, uh, he's very well to win this. Very yeah, well. He, he, he oh, playing it. Wow. Oh, oh, yo, he was a go. Oh, no way. Oh, look at him. Oh, almost got it. Oh, man. Okay, so this is 1v1. Last talk, last week. Easy uh, money. Mm -hmm. DP. Not many people can say I carried Myron in doubles. Yeah. <laughs> uncivilized, man. <laughs> yep. Look at him. Damn, he's actually uncivilized. He popped off. Oh, dang. Look at him. Yo, hold up. <laughs> that's a Monado. <laughs> a Monando, dude. Get out of here, man. The power of the Monados coming through here. He and definitely saw the future. Uncivil Ninja, man. Brought it back. Uh, blue team, definitely, you, you could kind of see it. They, they had a lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities. Yes, they but, did. Uh, you know, when you drop when you drop the combos, you got to you gotta hold that L. Sometimes you drop that dun dun dun, man. Yeah. That's how it goes. But, nonetheless, Myron and Uncivil Ninja are going to pull through. Kind of shaky game. I, I thought game number two was going to be for sure the game for Myron to really shine. But if you think about it in a team format, maybe it, it's a little harder for Olimar to position himself in those favorable positions to True. abuse that height, to abuse the slants. Because it's, you know, doubles is, you throw in so much chaos into the match. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. To be fair, though, I also believe that Myron just wanted to jam them. Like, I feel like the way that he was playing, like, yeah. to be, to be I mean, real. I, I yeah. didn't want to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. PB and Jam is running the sticks, the ones and twos. I'm going to say it, man. <laughs> they, they, he definitely just wanted to jam them in the corner. He did not care about sitting, utilizing stage control. Right. <laughs> sitting in his comfortable home. He came outside to bang on people. That's what he did. Get him out of my neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it didn't go as planned. Did not. But, yo. He had the homie. Yes, he did. He the, homie the homie was still in the house. Yeah, they almost ran up in his crib. <laughs> they actually almost ran up in his crib, took everything. But Unruly Ninja was like, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Uncivilized, baby. Uncivilized. Hit Ninja. him with the, that, that ledge mix up. Was that was, like, that was he, he, he like playing. baited him in the swing and, oh yeah. man, came up off the top. That guy was so happy. He's like, what a nitty. He's going to grab the ledge again. <laughs> actually. Actually, that's what I want you to yes, think. Yes, baited. Big brain plays. Only at Momocon 2019. Uh, we have a nice little match coming up right now. I see, uh, of course, Sam Sora. Ally? And Ally. Uh, let me, yep, yep. All right. I'm a fan of that. 
I'm a fan of that. Yeah, both both players so good at doubles. Um, Ally, a really good doubles player, especially in Brawl. He was so so good and just like a Brawl legend at yeah. that. And I feel like he's finally getting the foot, um, getting his footing in the ultimate. He had a rocky start, yeah. and um, it, it was with the snake too. I, it, it, you know, it's different for everyone. Some people they kind of catch on to the game faster. Some people it takes a little longer. But Ally, I mean, getting top eight at Prime Saga, then winning yeah. Pound, yeah. like it definitely, uh, definitely a 180 swap from yeah. the beginning of his uh, ultimate performance. No, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I think that Ally in general, he's one of those guys where his under his greatest strength is his fundamentals. Right. I feel like that's always been the case. I feel that a lot of times for him, learning little tech always kind of gives him, and those kind of nuances, it takes him a bit of time. But once he understands that, the ways that he mixes it up, the way that he utilizes that information mm -hmm. to create these crazy strategies, like he just makes you feel uncomfortable as a player. I, I feel like every top player, whenever they play ally, that is the number one thing I hear. His yeah. neutral makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? You always feel like you're not even when you're in advantage, you're not really there in advantage. And so, I feel now that he's kind of understands the game a lot more, it makes sense to see him actually doing a lot better. Right, right. And, uh, yeah, his, his neutral is very unorthodox. It's very uh, not standard, so yes. to speak. So, um, yeah, it, it'll give that a lot of players that feeling where it's just like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> like, why are you doing that? That's not, wait, oh, no. <laughs> and then he just hits you, man. And especially with Snake, too. Already you have a guy that feels like a loose cannon. It's hard to understand. And then you have a minefield all around you. Yeah. Whew. Minefield. And, yeah, Ally is definitely also more so willing to throw out some of these crazy aerials. You yeah. Know? Snake aerial is very strong. Back air up, or ba especially back air has that lingering hitbox. Yeah. And you get hit by one of these wild tilts, wild aerials. Yeah. It's a wrap. Absolutely. So it definitely <laughs> instills the fear. Yeah, it absolutely does, man. Did you